Hargreaves, chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! If he stays onside, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Benyon. Sills! Hello and welcome back to the second part of this week's Goals Eye View. I'm again joined by Chris and Tom. Oh, I said Dom, got everything mixed up then. Uh, brain <laughs> brain folded in for that moment, but we're back. Right, so uh, we've got a few questions you've asked us this week. Do you want to ask them, Tom? I'll ask, yeah. So yeah, turn the tables cool. this week. Uh, we felt like we uh, you've had enough answering our questions, so we've turned it over to you, Yellow Army. Um, so I'll get the Facebook ones up first. Yes, so... Ryan Hansen should be starting. The person starts yes, that. yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Gavin might score 10 goals. <laughs> so from <laughs> Facebook, Peter Wells asks, should we be worried about artificial pitches or officiating this season? Yes, Ooh, artificial gosh. pitches. Uh, I mean, if yes, you saw and Yo- probably. Yeah, if you saw Yeovil's, um, is it Reece Staunton, the captain, say he's not playing on artificial pitches? Mm. Uh, Asa would always, never. It's always been, a, yeah, we've already been injured. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a second <laughs> point for us. Obviously, it always has been. We do train on obviously South Devon. Uh, it'll be an interesting one, but yeah, no. If if we start losing yeah. points, now we're in trouble. Mm. Also, refs. Uh, what from what yeah. I remember last time, weren't the refs in the South better than actually yeah. because some ranking? Yes, system. they weren't as bad. Yes, correct. I am always I'm worried about refs, right mind you, of course. But can I say the ref in Torquay versus Plymouth was the first time I ever walked away from match. Yes. So that was a very good ref because he didn't. He was young. He didn't make anything about him. He just got on with the game, let it flow nicely. Didn't, it yep. wasn't all about him. Look at me, I've got my whistle. I'm a little, short, annoying man in the middle of the pitch. Uh, I I need attention. I'm going to ruin the flow of the game. None of that. It was just, no, I'm yeah. interrupt the game. That's a foul, go away. Da, 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 done. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's our answer to the question. Anyone else add anything to that? Uh, all I would say, I'd make, two, I'd make two comments. One, about the artificial pitches, what we have got to do, is not going to let it get in our heads because there's a lot of them. Historically, we've got a crap record on artificial pitches. So we've got to just play the, you know, like um, we were at Dover last year. Not that Tom can remember it, but um, we were at Dover. At Dover, what am I talking about? Um, Dorking. I can't remember that. I can't remember that. No, he can't remember that. No, he can't remember Dover because we weren't there. But Dorking last year, and and you could tell, and the way we, you know, we were were terrible. We want a good run at that point. So not let it get in our heads. Um, and in terms of fitness wise, if I think if these players, you know, these players might be rested here and there because you can't, you've got to be sensible with it. And yeah, I agree with you, Sam. From what I remember, referees were better than they were in the National League. That's not too hard, of course. But... Yeah, that's shocking. Should be, yeah, I was going to say, should we be worried about 4G services? I'm going to say no on the basis that once we got the form going in the South, we were fine, I believe. Um, we won at Eastbourne, yeah. didn't we, and a few other Eastbourne places. Eastbourne really so. scored a hat trick, yeah. It's yeah. just a mentality it's thing. It's the same for both sides, isn't it, as well? Yeah. So that's why I think we're not... I agree, it's all about mentality. Don't let it get in your head. And in terms of officiating, I think whatever league you play in, you're going to get some referees who are great, and you're going to get some referees who are terrible. Like, And at the end of the day, you just got to let your quality win over. Don't, don't rely on the referee to win a game for you. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, use your sure. talent. That's I what agree. I say. James Bailey says, how many points do you think will be needed to win the league? For me, it's going to be over 100 with Yeovil also being strong. I mean, it's 42 I mean, games. How many did we get last time? 42 games for a start, isn't it? So that's all. Yeah. And, but I do agree. It is a big possibility. It could be a Wrexham Knox County kind of battle. I don't think it'll be 100, though. Well, I, I don't think... Th- how many... It's only 20... How many teams are there? It's 23? Yeah. It's 46 Thanks. this season, but it was 42. Oh, was it 46? Think, ah. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, it's 46. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, yeah. No. You, what's a hundred? I mean, the general rule. I always remember when I was a kid. Michael Owen once said, "Not ever applied to the pool in those days, but he always said to win a title, you got to aim at two points a game." Yeah, two points a game will win your league. What's that? Ninety-two, isn't it? That's what Edson got around. Did it? No, Edson yeah. broke a hundred last season. They got 100. We got eighty-eight yeah. from forty-two last time. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we'll. I don't think it'll be a runaway. I don't think anyone will run away with it. No. But I do no. think it will be close between us and the Oval. I think about eighty, eighty-five points. Will be enough yeah. to win. I this hope league. somebody will run away with it. And I hope it does. But <laughs> yeah, Epsi got yeah, 103 no, I... last season. Dartford 83. Um, that's, that's, that's so we imagine winning the league by 20 points, Tom. Imagine it. They I'm not. Yeah, not they no. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we the might one, need the one, the one time I the one time I don't predict. I'd say we need about 92, 94. You know, I'd go for 90s. I think high 80s will do it. Okay. Nice spread. Fair. 
on on to Twitter. Um, so Jonathan Jones says, are the performances against Argyle and City encouraging or are they just pre-seasoning red herrings? I oh, think they're encouraging. They're encouraging. Yeah. Uh, Pre-season not... is how you want to spin it though, isn't it? Yeah, if you yeah. win and you play, it's not about it's not about results, but if you win, it's about results. So what I will say uh, is wins when, never hurt, do they? When we lost five 0 to Plymouth last preseason, it was men versus boys, basically, as the saying goes, and we looked all out of shape. This season, one one draw. The the difference is it wasn't men versus boys. We were very competitive. Last year we beat extra one 0 and we sh- other days we've lost about five one. It's because Halstead was ridiculous that day. This year we battled them four one. And yeah. that, and even though it's not like the results, it's just like the patterns of play. Of course, if you go and lose two 0 at Dover on your first game, it means nothing. But like, I, it is just more of a confidence just on how professional fit we were, as we touched in the first episode. Mm. It's not about it's not about results, yeah. but they help. Yeah, confidence. <laughs> and let's be honest. Let's be honest. After we got dicked by Plymouth last season, that was kind of the ah, uh, this this might not be the promotion season we were hoping for. No, yeah. you didn't want yeah, to think yeah, it at the time. Back. The only comeback my extra sporting mates have had is, oh, well, it was a highlight of your season last year. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. let's hope that's not the actually, same this year. Actually, the highlight's year. the strongest darling more, more season. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, James Otto says, who are we shifting out? Where is Kevin Dawson? Are we going to give the youngsters serious game time? Ollie T is the example. He's no worse than most centre-backs at our club. And he could be the next Williamson slash McDonald, who only made it because they got a chance to play. That's not yeah. one question. <laughs> well let's let's split it right, into I'll, let's split it uh, Dawson uh, is Dawson's injured. Yeah, we've heard bad things. Oh. We've heard bad things. It's only social media talk. Well, the talk today was he's out for a good length of time. But that's just that could just not be true. So I don't know. But Dawson's injured, so we'll we'll worry about him when he's fit. Which is a big What's the next question? I love Dawson. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Are, are we, we going to yeah. uh, who are we shifting out? I mean, I, was, I see us seeing, trying to get rid of Marshall Hansen still. Maybe more Marshall. Great. Depends what's yeah. available. If Marshall's fit and he's in his plans, he's in his plans. But um, mm. I don't know. I, I thought Marshall was a goner, really, but maybe just been injured, which is why it's all of a sudden back. But look, I'm all for giving them a chance. And Crow. I suppose it's like anything. If you can get rid of them, then I dare say if somebody came in for, for those three you just mentioned there tomorrow, you probably would, because then you'd back yourself to bring somebody in who would better than what you've but got. I don't think I would. You've got to I, don't, them, you. I can't see him shifting. I can't see Gary shifting pro. I think he, he'll be bench mm-hmm. warmer, second best, in and around. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Hanson. He lost his man on that Bristol goal, Bristol City He's, goal, so he came on. But, is it Han- Hanson's been injured, hasn't he, recently? Am I right think, or is that someone else I'm thinking he of? Missed it. No, he missed a couple of games, but he missed. A, he wasn't involved in the Plymouth game, but he was at the weekend, I think. So, yeah, whether, 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 whether I get this time, if he'd have a slight knock, they don't, they don't risk him, do they? But I don't think we'll send anyone out on loan or release them until the season starts. Because no. I think we're still unless, quite... Unless somebody offers to take Hampton for a month to give him some games in, why wouldn't you? I yeah. suppose if he's not going to start immediately now, he looks like that. Those three in midfield without Dawson, uh, McGavin, Hall and Lapsley with Jenkins, Davis in reserve, I, probably going to be the start. And I suppose a lot will come down to after this Southampton B game on Saturday. Yeah. Have a look, see what they've got. And then maybe then you start making your decisions as you go towards the season. Yeah. Okay. And are we going to give youngsters serious game time? If they're around, yeah, Tomlinson will be starting. I reckon, starting, I reckon. I, I just see him playing. Oh, I, the new I mean, lad I looks said... all right, doesn't he? Academy, yeah. He won't be playing, I don't reckon, this season, but I thought he looked quite I... solid, the Academy graduate. I think you? I said this in the last video. I think you can get away with playing a few more youngsters in your squad at this level. I said, I can't remember on Talkie Talk or the rival, Talking Talkie, but I said that players like Cole Cameron mm. and a lot of the last National mm. League South hero so to speak if they're gone straight into the national league where well, they've done so well and i feel that's the same mm-hmm. with a few of our lads who quote flocks last season um this season in the south wants a confidence flowing once they're playing in a confident team perhaps they sort their sort of side out a little bit then yeah they could improve yeah. a lot so mm, that's my answer to it very good, good. questions good answers very yeah good. very good questions we've got danny saints fan danny Allegiance is lie on Saturday where, Danny? Um, So on paper, we have the strongest squad in the league this season with a few of our players, League 2 standard in his opinion, Jarves and Laps being a few. So with that being said, would not getting promoted be a disastrous season? He'd love to know our thoughts. Yes, Yes, 100%. Yes, move on. Even if you're winning playoffs. (laughs) Uh, Playoffs, no, it's also a gallery. Just, if we're in the National League South in a year's time. Yeah. Yeah, just get 
promoted. I don't care if it's winning the league or winning the playoffs. Just mm, get nah. promoted. I do. I, I do care. I won't care if we win the playoffs, but I will yeah. care if we don't. So, yeah, win the league, done. Then That's got to be the way to look at it. But, yeah, and actually, in fairness, to be fair to the club, and obviously anything else, are they? But every noise you've seen out of the club has been, we're here to win the league. There's one target, yeah. that's it. No, nothing else. Not messing about. We're here to win the league. And we're, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy overall, kind of, although no, I have nothing against the chairman, who's obviously a homegrown person. We spoke about maybe his interesting personality last time. Um, but Centre of attention, isn't he? Yes, you could say that. But I'm happy for him to take that role because if it does go wrong, it'll be interesting to see how it goes and we'll just kind of be here, be professional, get on with it and go from there. Yes. Lovely. Ooh, Alan Wills, nice. evening, Alan. Could Stobbs and Collins be the Gibbs and Gurney of their generation, scoring double figures from win back this season? Yeah. Chris, I think I'll leave this to you. Uh, I, I think um, uh, yes and no in terms of the goal. Could they get double figures? Yes, I think they absolutely could. Um, but what I would say is Gibbs and Gurney were, were ostensibly defenders. So I think it would be a little bit different because I think Stobbs and Collins are offensively much more you know, offensive, offensive minded for, for aren't they? Whereas, um, well, I think Gibbs and Gurney were defenders who um, did their role defensively, but also got forward and scored goals. So they'd be different types. Could they score 10 goals each? Absolutely, they could. Just like McGavin could. He won't. <laughs> For those that don't know, me and Dom have got a bet that uh, McGavin... It, Dom thinks McGavin's going to score 10 goals when the season starts. I, I can't see it myself, so... Listen to a, it when the season starts. Of... That one he's already yeah. got been ruled out, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, pre-season means nothing. Come on. <laughs> pre-season doesn't count. So there's a pint, a pint of Capri's on it. Uh, by horse, Eden Clyde. Uh, what would the gate be for the first home match against Worthing? Anyway. They'll, um, they'll they'll bring a few. I reckon they'll bring aware. a couple of hundred. They'll bring a couple of hundred. Yeah. I reckon two thousand. Two less. Two less because me and Sam won't be there. Yeah, it's two thousand one hundred ninety-eight. Uh, two thousand eight hundred seven. I was gonna go two thousand seven hundred. I think they'll be quite a good, yeah. goal, especially if we win first the first game, game. August weather will be nice. Not like now, yeah, but it no. will be. No. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Mark Hurst says, I'm still concerned about attacking options from the bench. Are we going to be fading in the final 20 minutes in most games again? Interesting question. Good question. It's a good very question. good question. We what? do need another option in that. Um, yeah. My opinion also is, obviously, last time, if you remember, in the South, when we were playing a lot because we were all part-time, it was like the last 20 minutes is when our full-time sort of fitness kicked in and mm. we get those sort of goals to kill off the game. But yeah, no, we definitely need another attacking option. Yeah, if we're playing I agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, I... I mean, of course, yeah, you've got think... Collins who can go in. I think at times Collins will go inside, play yeah. further forward at t- in certain situations. You well, bring, yeah. you know, say you've got you an injury. You can put Martin up for left mid, can you? Yeah, no, you, you could say bring Martin on, put him out there, and then move Collins inside, something like that. Uh, but... Judging by, by that Plymouth game I saw uh, and the Exeter one, it doesn't look like we're fading it in games in pre-season. So I, I, and that's against quite decent opposition as well. So... You'd like to think in the National League South, we should be in the ascendancy the last 20 minutes. I mean, yeah. you saw a lot when we were last in the South, how we would tear teams apart and then just manage the second half yeah. of games. Told or in, in the very tight games, like, the, oh, where was it? Uh, the East Forest one, especially where we had to toil for 90 minutes and then we managed to get that late, late winner. Um, yeah, staying full time's very important. And, you know, fitness is going to be, it's got to be, one of the best in the league this season, really. Yeah, I agree. Um, so we've got a few more. Mel, Mel Bay has says, Rosh Muscle is now fully fit with 2020 vision. Does he go straight into the back four? Stick with pre-season formation or go all out for an experienced centre-back loan? No, I can't see Rosh. I can't see Rosh Marshall going straight into the squad. No. If no not the first fit, team. Moxie doesn't look to be fit at the moment. If he is fit, it'd be Moxie, mm. Thomas and Donovan. The back, but we need another centre back, one hundred percent. Yeah. Well, yeah. we don't numerically because we've got Marshall and Moxie, so I think five to play three at the back is probably Martin enough. Martin can play there. Yeah, and it was interesting to yeah. see they tried Crow and Martin there. It's partly through the chopping and changing of pre-season, and of course, you know, we've got the young lad Thomas if we need to. Um, yeah, no, but Thomas, yeah, that's I, a good point. I think, yeah, I think, I think ideally like you probably want to improve yeah. the quality of Marshall. To what Marshall now gets think, yeah, in terms no, of right. numbers if, enough. If you can get yeah. Marshall at the door, then. You'll probably look that he should probably pay Marshall first team wage. But so. but don't forget Marshall had some good games last year. It's easy to forget he did. 
he's, he's, he's the most frustrating player I've seen because he could really be a good player. But Ross, yeah. Yeah. read the game, stay cool more. You'll be all right, mate. Yeah. But um, that's come from me. Listen, uh, experience on the back has played not much. No yeah. Uh, Listen I, to I, Sam. I did, I did win the 2034 Europa League final with Torquay on Football Manager today. So, I don't want to talk you about it. stuff them. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, next question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Obviously, it's about my Europa League yeah. final win. It was a 2-0 <laughs> win against Alvarez versus yes, Cam. Uh, Rachel, evening Rachel, she says with the potential for maybe two or three more loans she still thinks the squad's a little bit threadbare I would hope for another attacking option incoming yeah. and bolstering up the defence can you see this yeah. happening? Yes Yeah, I, I yeah, think it's all down, down. there'll be a loan yeah. striker coming in I reckon I still think it's wait until the Southampton games have been played and then I think you'll start to see a bit more movement as the season There are the there have been a couple of spurious stories on social media I've seen a couple of points during the summer of Will Goodwin haven't there? Yes, because he changed um, his profile picture to his tall key ferret again. Everyone was like, ah. Oh. Yes. But it's quite an interesting thing to do, but I don't see why it was, no. you know, it doesn't mean anything. But also, it's like, oh, it's quite an interesting thing. Well, blimey. Like, you know, if that did happen, we would score some goals. Dear me. Yeah. Would he, get into the, would he get into the squad there, Will Goodwin? Well, with the way Ash and um, thingy of uh, Jarvis have played, I'm not too sure at the moment. But With the way they're playing, you could play him on the right wing, couldn't you, in this system? If you had yeah. to do left wing, whatever. I love Will Goodwin. Yeah, we'll see, but yeah, no, well, surely not. No, I don't see. Uh, Scott McDonald got a club yet? No, not at all. So. I just felt like he's going to end up at Yeovil. I don't know why it'd be. They've got like, three keepers now, so it happened. But I was just ready for that. Um, yeah, no. emergency loan. <laughs> you never know. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Jane Kelly, evening mum, had a, has a lot of questions for me, but none are talkie related. <laughs> <laughs> When you go clean your room, uh, when you go do your own yeah, washing, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've got Bob Bamba. He says, an empty one to a point, but what was the best ever talkie pre-season performance that you've seen, factoring in the quality of the opposition? Uh, I haven't been to many. Talkie oh. being West Brom was quite good, to be fair. Oh, if I'm honest, they're yeah. probably... Yeah, probably about that. We beat, yeah, Yeovil, we beat Gary Johnson's Yeovil Championship team too now. I've been to that one. I the only I don't go to a lot of preseason games. I went I went to the Plymouth one where uh, Armani scored from like oh that no, free okay. game, that, long that might be the best one actually. Yeah, I no. think three one win. In, yeah, that were one. they league? Were they league one at the time? Or were they league no, two? They they just league got they were league two. They league. just got um low in, hadn't they? Um, that was like his first thing, and they won league two that season. And that yeah, was I think in year. terms of yeah, the one the ones I saw live that that game against Plymouth three one was probably the best one that I saw. But then the one we played against them last week was pretty good as well. I thought, mm. and considering the four division gap, not five that Devon Live reported last week, <laughs> we're not we're not that bad, Devon Live yet. Um, yeah, either, that, either that or their Premier League. Yeah. <laughs> God no, God help us. So that would be mine anyway. The West Brom one would probably be another good one, but I wasn't there for that. So, And finally, we've got another Alan. Alan James, 1949 on Twitter, says, how many players will Tom get sent off this year? He's already at plus one already. I mean, I still think he's going to send off more than he'll get sent off. He's, I've yeah. got, I'm calling it now, Talkie talk over will not end 11 v 11. But they just signed that I sunny think... lad, didn't they? And he got sent off in the yeah. game against us last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lapsley sorted him out, didn't he? I, I would say a couple of things. One, I think um I think he I think players will fall for some of his games, but I think I also think if I was a manager, I'd be telling him to pack it in a little bit. Um not not mm. not necessarily the games and the kind of shit in opposition, but um if you see the amount of times he spends in the referee's ear, uh, it's just a bit much. He got booked a couple of times last season just because referees had enough of him. And I could see you could see it coming a mile off. And you know, yeah. at times you can get into referee, you know, and have your opinion and have your voice and all the rest of it. But at times it's just a, I think it is, can just be a bit much. So I think if I was Gary, I'd be saying to you, you know, do what you do, get in people's faces, annoy them, because that's part of the little Terry role in midfield. That's all part of it. But there are times where I think at times he just needs to just pack it in a little bit and, you know, just, you know, button it because he, he, he talks himself into trouble at times. I was gonna say, were you guys at that um the Slough home game when we were last in the South, and we managed the pop side managed oh, to get one of the their players sent off. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just for last time, if they'd done all right, and then it was nil-nil, and then we absolutely—they were really good. They were, they were, they were yeah. really good, weren't they? 
Yeah, and did, so, we, have to, did so, we be four 0 to destroy him? Like, like that or something like that. He got he yeah, got he stuck booked. In middle finger. He got booked. Then the pop side started having a right go at him, and he started. Yeah, he started finger, the... and then he started doing like like the Shearer movement. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever, I've ever laughed so hard as that moment. Oh, it was sorry. just that I, was. Peak I have, that... I have, I've laughed funny oh. that I once remember Drew Broughton getting sent off. Remember him. Big donkey centre forward, and he he because he walked. He knew he was getting subbed. He was been booked. He walked quickly towards the pop side, and then started. And the referee watched him do it. And then when his number went up, he showed him second yellow card. He set him off. <laughs> yeah, that's quite funny. So Tom Lapsley, if you're watching, tone it yeah. down and just leave it to sure the pop be. side to do. Don't just leave it to. Don't say anything too bad. Side. I'm meeting him probably next week for the sponsors photos. So, you know, I'll give him a watch. Oh, how are you? Oh, oh. 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 that's why he's had his hair cut, Tom, isn't it? Yeah, that's no, it's true. Yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. Yeah, I'm not unemployed, uh, by the way. I just work in edu- education. <laughs> 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 um, but that is all the questions that the Yellow Army put to us. Thank you so much, Yellow Army, for Brilliant. giving us all this content to talk about. I'm sure yeah, we'll no. ask you more yeah, as no, the season great. goes on. I oh, can't wait. I'm really looking forward to carrying on with this now, mainly because, well, hopefully we'll win some more games. Have you seen the graphics and it involves less made planning. for us? Yeah. It involves less planning as well, doesn't it? If we just get people to ask questions, then we can just talk about what they ask us. Yeah, oh, they're good, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, Dom's done posh new graphics. You're going to put them on the on the video as well, Sam? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? No, I'll put it as a thumbnail, hopefully. I did wonder if maybe we need to do like a little video thing. Like, you know, like they have all, they all have their little videos where they, I'll be like Jimmy Bullard. I'll be like Jimmy Bullard. I just want to be able to keep a straight face. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank pretty, you, everyone. Pretty short it's it's going to be a fun season overall. I think Talking Evil could be a really memorable title battle, plus anyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, we should be back next week with a guest, I think, is the plan, isn't it, lads? Next week? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, still, Pre- we're working on a special guest. Key based guest either. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's going to be. We're going to bring a bit, a bit of uh, a bit of a other club in next week, yes. maybe. Yes. That's going to make us leave them one and more. Golden Rule of Journalism, mm. leave them one and more. You see, yeah. yeah. And we're going to win six 0 on Saturday against Southampton B. My, I won't be there. I'm at the Test match this I weekend, might be so there, I won't actually. be there. My, I've got relatives who are Southampton season ticket holders, so I'm a bit of a laugh on it. No, I'll be watching. I'll be watching England um, level the Ashes this weekend. Hopefully, not bringing it home though. Damn weather. No. Anyway, see you next week for talking cricket. Thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, please like and subscribe. I can do that as well if you like. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Here's Hargreaves, the chance for talking. Chris Hargreaves, the captain. If he stays on side, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Bennett. Sells.